hi welcome back to coding casually and today we what we would be doing is we'll be connecting uh, Python with MongoDB and we'll be using the update queries uh, which is the update one and update many and we would also be solving uh, a very important uh, thing which is how to update all the documents in your collection so for people who don't know what exactly is python and mongodb python is our language that we would be using it uh, we would be using to execute the same and mongodb is an open source no sql database so that means it has different attributes or different uh, principles rather in when compared to a normal rdbms so what we would be doing in this one is I've already opened Visual Studio Code on my system and I have the file ready which is a py file. If you don't have PyMongo installed what you can do is you can press window R, write cmd and then pip install pymongo. And I'm sure that you will, if that is installed for you then you will see this type of message or else it will install it for you. And the second one is if you don't have uh, MongoDB installed in your system, what you need to do is you need to hop onto the site called mongodb.com, try download community edition. So this is how you reach there. You can press community edition here and you will find uh, this document altogether and you can press this button and then the installer will be there. You just need to follow a very uh, conventional method of installing it. You need not have to use your brains to do a different type of configuration altogether the moment it is installed on your system uh, you can write mongodb and then you will see that it is already installed on your system and it connects to this uh, link altogether so the moment you press this you will be able to see uh, what is there in the database okay uh, let's move forward and let's do the coding start again. We'll write by Mongo and we have imported the statement. We have to define the client and what we would be doing here is we would be writing by Mongo dot connect or oh sorry dot Mongo can client and then you have to give that URL that I was talking about which is Mongo DB uh, then full in slash slash and then localhost and then the number is 27017 you can confirm it from here as well which is exactly this one and then what we can do is we can uh, target our database so my client will be uh, okay and then my database will be fine and then we would be targeting a collection and then collection that can be my DB which is the database that you're trying to hit and then you can sorry you can connect to a collection so that collection will be customers and then we would be adding a value so this is how we add a value in a format uh, which is basically dictionary one we can write name equals to uh, Ramesh and then we can say address equals to um, Canada something something that would be fine okay it's just for the uh, purpose of uh, making sure that you understand what exactly is going on so in order to insert this what you can do is you can write my call dot insert and then you can write insert one because we want to insert this only and then we can give my val as the value okay so let's see whether this works or not and whether we have done something wrong or not and the moment we press F5, it says that uh, the object is not callable. Okay, let's see what exactly we have done wrong. Okay, we'll close this up and see. I'm sure that we have written the number the same and it's all same. Let's put a double. Okay, so this is the mistake that we have done. 
and now let's try and see whether we can connect to it or not so I'm sure that it has connected and these values should appear so if we open this we connect to the database and then we go on to this uh, we see that there is my database already and there is a customer or customers collection and the moment we open this we see that there is there is some data and we have added this one recently now this is how you add stuff in it but what about you wish to update an address so we would be updating this address only so how we can do this uh, first of all we need to remove this and what we can do here is we can write my query and then we can give uh, basically a condition which can help us in updating the address for us so what we can do here is we can call a regex uh, regex is basically regular expressions that would help you in finding what exactly you wish to update so we can write regex that works fine and then anything which starts with s will help us so we can write s so before we go ahead and s we let let's see whether it starts it starts from c so we'll start from we'll update this one okay so this is how we create an update query altogether and then what we can do is we can set new values and then that could be what would could it has to be set so you have to give a dollar sign here and write set and then you can give the new value that you wish to add so new value can be of course we want address back again and then the new value can be um, it could be one two three square Canada street that would that would look like an address and then what we can do is we can say that this is something that we need to update so you can update one that would also be fine so by writing my call which is the collection that we wish to update and then we can write update one and what you need to do is you need to go through my query and then what needs to be done is new values and now how you can update is we can write for x in my call dot find and then we can close this up and what needs to be fine I mean, you can easily check what it found and we can still print the x to see what exactly happened okay let's see whether it has done something or not for us it has and let's see whether there was an update or not so we can go here we can do a reload data and it did not update anything for us and now we would check why because uh, okay uh, because the query was quite wrong here and then we'll try to do this again and let's see whether it has updated or not so you can see that it has indeed updated the sub the stuff for us now what you can do is instead of updating one you can also hop on to updating everything uh, without any problem so how you can do uh, an update to everything is very simple so let's see what exactly we can do so we can see that you know the address starts from 123 street Canada here so if I change it to new address by hopping on to this one and giving it a uh, new address which is this one and then press update so now the two values have uh, address as new address so what we can do is in order to update everything instead of going through finding everyone we can write update many and now what will happen is it will update everything which starts from C uh, and it will convert to this one so of course in this one everything starts with n and then we will run it and let's see whether it works for us or not and let's reload the data and we see that it has updated both the values so this is how you use the update statement in MongoDB and you have already seen how to insert stuff there is 
a lot of potential in MongoDB. You can do much and much. If you think uh, you need something else on MongoDB, you can please comment on the video, share this video if you think that it has a little value in it. And please do subscribe the channel because it gives us the motivation to create more videos. Thank you.